Okay, so recently uh, I did a, a video on Google Analytics 4, the out-of-the-box Shopify implementation and kind of talking through the different e-commerce purchase events that it passes through like um, item view, purchase event and all that sort of stuff. Um, after doing that, the first question I got asked was how do we track custom events on top? So I'm just going to talk through the whole setup of how you could, could do that and, and how it will report how you can leverage that data in reports in Google Analytics 4 later on. Because um, obviously working with an out-of-the-box implementation is very straightforward, but any custom on top can be a bit more complicated. So you can see this store has got the out-of-the-box Google Analytics connection. Um, what I've done on top of this is I've basically I've installed Google Tag Manager, um, and within Google Tag Manager, I have set up the GA4 configuration tag with the same measurement ID um, so it's going to the same Google Analytics account as what is out of the box, essentially, right? Um, on top of that, I've created this um, Google Analytics for event track. So what this is doing is essentially it's triggering on any form submissions where the form ID contains newsletter. Um, and if we look over here, this wonderful little form down here that I've put in, uh, you will see it contains an ID of newsletter, right? So we know it's going to fire on, on that form being submitted. And it's going, to tr it's going to be capturing the form's ID and a field called email address, which would not be uh, privacy compliant, but um, in this case, I'm capturing it just to prove a point. Um, so yeah, essentially it's going to capture the form's ID. Um, so just to show you that. Uh, form ID in this case is newsletter sign up header although I did change it to footer at one point so that we could show differences in the data and it's going to capture whatever's put in there so a bit of a blue piece of moment just before this I actually submitted this with my email address so um, once this is all set up configured published um, oh actually one thing I didn't mention it's passing those two parameters so form ID and email address so uh, once we set that up and we fired it over here, uh, this is previewing Google Tag Manager's debug mode. And you can see that when I submitted the form, um, it passed um, in the data. So form ID, the actual ID of the form, and uh, an email address, which apparently I wrote in wrong, but that's fine. Uh, it passed that value through. Um, and if we hop over to analytics, you can actually see on the real-time dashboard, you've got newsletter sign up, which matches up with the name of the event. Um, and you've got form ID is one parameter, email address is another. So if you go over to here, uh, you've got form ID, there you go, newsletter sign up, whatever, and email address uh, would be in there somewhere probably. There you go, uh, and it's passed through that value as well and you can see the same thing on the um, debug view as well like so it's all parried up it's all passing in spot on right so now we've created a custom event we've passed data in we can see that dropping into google analytics 4 but how do we actually leverage that data in reports um, and this is something you can't do immediately annoyingly so the first thing you have to do is set up custom definitions for the data that you want to capture. So in this case, I've called them the same things. You might want to call them something a bit more intelligent, but essentially, um, if we look at this, what we're doing is we're giving the dimension a name. So email address or form ID. And if you look down here, 24 hours after you've passed this data through, um, you'll be able to come in here and the actual event parameter should be in the drop down. So if you see this one says email address, that matches up to the email address in here or, you know, in here. Um, essentially, you create these parameters. Once you've done that, process a bit more data and you'll then be able to actually add these custom parameters in your reports. So you can see, um, like I've added these custom dimensions. So in my report currently, we've got um, page title and screen name, so where the form was submitted, and we've got the name, the ID of the form. So we can see here that look, um, the footer one received you know 117 signups, the header one received 58, 
Um, if I dragged across the email address as well into the rows area, um, I, I actually had to submit with a load of random numbers and stuff. So just bear that in mind. There we go. There we go. So that will, not quite how I wanted it, but there you go. You can see all the email addresses uh, that were processed through the form as well. Um, I did it via a processor, so that's why they're a bit odd. But yeah, there you go. That gives you an example of how you can do custom event tracking. Now this one's a form, but you can do all kinds of event tracking in a standard way um, on top of Shopify's out of the box implementation. Um, hope that helps, hope it's useful. Um, things to mention. Um, having the uh, configuration tag on top of the out of the box install does not um, double the page views or anything like that. I really did go to town on checking. Um, so it really, it really does just allow you to layer up custom um, tracking on top without, yeah, without, without causing any issues with what you're implementing directly through Shopify.